In 1995, Archbishop Raymond L. Burke of St. Louis, formerly of La Crosse, founded the Holy Cross Seminary House of Formation in the Diocese of La Crosse. In doing so, he founded a unique high school seminary under a new model where the students could enjoy the benefits of seminary life by living at the House of Formation and yet be able to attend the co-ed Catholic high school in the local area and thus enjoy the benefits of a regular high school career. Bishop Burke's program would be a program of priestly formation which would include communal prayer, daily mass, regular confession and spiritual direction as well as conferences for all the seminarians on human development and the Christian virtues. The key to this development was mentioned by Pope John Paul II in his apostolic exhortation Pastores Dabo Vobis where he stated that the minor seminary or the high school seminary continues to carry out valuable educational work the aim of which is to protect and develop the seeds of a priestly vocation. Vocations typically do not appear suddenly, they must be fostered early and over time. This is accomplished through educational goals among which are the human, cultural and spiritual formation for each of the seminarians. This formation is what Archbishop Burke had in mind for the Holy Cross Seminary, a place designed to form young men toward a life of holiness. There are many young people today who are searching for God's will in their life, and the discernment between the priesthood and the married life is a difficult one. But what is certain is that Christ calls all men to follow him in holiness. From the time we are made, we are called to be saints. And in a culture where religion is seemingly attacked from all sides and at all times, it can be difficult for young people to discover the path which Christ has for them. This effort to discover the correct path is part of the race about which St. Paul speaks. To finish the race well, we must train ourselves well. The House of Formation offers a structured life balanced with healthy relationships for this very purpose of discernment. The House of Formation is run by the director, a priest of the Diocese of La Crosse, directly appointed by the bishop to be the spiritual head of the community. The director is also a teacher and chaplain for Aquinas High School. He is assisted by the prefect, who maintains the seminary and is in charge of discipline and instruction. The prefect is a layman in good standing with the Catholic Church, who lives at the seminary and is available at all times to the seminarians. Each day starts with morning prayer, or lauds, according to the Divine Office, also known as the Liturgy of the Hours. All our prayer takes place in our own St. John Vianney Chapel. Morning prayer is followed by a cold breakfast and then transportation to Aquinas High School, which is located just 10 minutes from the House of Formation. Upon arriving at school, the seminarians attend the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass, celebrated by the director. Attendance at Mass is mandatory. The school day proceeds for the seminarian as it would for any other student at Aquinas. When the seminarian returns to the House of Formation, they are granted free time. This time can be used for playing games with their fellow seminarians, getting a head start on homework in our study room, extracurriculars at the high school, or on special occasions watching a pre-approved movie. Free time ends at 5.45 with evening prayer or vespers, which is followed immediately by dinner, a balanced meal provided by St. Martha's Kitchen and the Holy Cross Diocesan Center. During the holy seasons of Advent and Lent, spiritual readings are read aloud during part of dinner. A mandatory study period follows dinner. If there is no homework, then the seminarians are to use the time to read on their own. Teaching young men how to use their free time wisely is part of the formation process. Study time is followed by announcements for the next day and the night prayer or compline. The daily structure of the House of Formation provides a great deal of help in attempting to foster Christian virtues. The seminarians live at the Holy Cross Diocese Center. Each student of the House of Formation has their own dorm room, equipped with a bed, desk, dresser, closet, and sink. Lavatories are located just down the hall and provide the necessary privacy. Most weekends are free for the seminarians, and they are encouraged to spend time with their families. 
If they choose, they may stay at a friend's house pre-approved by their parents. One weekend a month, they must stay at the seminary for a formation weekend. These weekends involve spiritual conferences, going on pilgrimage to a shrine or special church, or sometimes it simply involves spending time as a community. In the past, we have taken in sporting events, visited major basilicas in the U.S., and just enjoyed each other's company at a beautiful locale. Our motto, Veritas Bonum Virtus, expresses our goals of the House of Formation quite well. Guided by the truth that is Jesus Christ, we aim to foster goodness in our seminarians through the practice and example of virtue. Our current bishop, Jerome Lestecki, invites you to consider sending your sons to the House of Formation. The future of the Church requires young men who have the courage to follow Christ wherever he leads them. The Holy Cross Seminary House of Formation seeks, with the grace of God, to direct young men toward a life of holiness, so that they can hear the voice of God in their hearts and then act on it through love. The Holy Cross Seminary House of Formation in the Diocese of La Crosse, a high school seminary, a home for discernment.